Kristen, and in this video today, we're going to be looking at how to solve for x in an equation. So let's start with something easy, and then work up to something a little harder so that we can get the hang of it first, and then work with it a little more. So let's start with x minus 4 equals 10. This is fairly simple. And in order to solve an equation, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation, which basically means get it by itself on one side of the equal sign. To do that, we need to do the same thing to the left side as we do to the right side. That will help us solve for x. So we have x minus 4 equals 10. We want to get rid of this 4 here because we want x by itself. So what we can do is we can add 4 to each side of the equation. So that gets rid of 4 here because minus 4 plus 4 equals 0. And over here it gives us 14. So we have x equals 14. Now we can see that we have x by itself on one side of the equation, which means that we've solved for x. So let's get rid of this and try something a little harder, just to make sure we get more practice on it. Let's try 2 times 3x plus 9 equals 9x plus 3. This looks a little harder, but it's still fairly easy. We still need to isolate x on one side of the equation. However, to do that, we need to simplify both sides of the equation before we can do anything. So over here, we have 9x plus 3. We can't really simplify that right now. That's about as simple as it gets. We cannot combine any like terms. They're just by themselves. However, over here, you can see we have 2 times 3x plus 9. We can simplify this by multiplying 2 by everything in the parentheses. So let's do that. We have 2 times 3x, which gives us 6x. And then 2 times 9, which gives us 18. So now this side of the equation is 6x plus 18, and then equals 9x plus 3. Now we can work with trying to isolate x. To do that, let's get rid of the 3 here. Let's subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. That gives us 6x plus 15 equals 9x, because that was canceled out. Okay, so now we have 6x plus 15 equals 9x. Now, because we have an x over here and an x over there, let's combine those to make sure that we have the same thing on each side of the equation. So we can subtract 6x from both sides. That gives us 15 equals 3x. Now I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to erase and start over at the top. So from simplifying and combining like terms, we have been able to reduce this to 15 equals 3x. We have it a lot simpler than this, but the x is still not by itself. It has this 3 in front of it. So we need to divide the entire equation by 3 to get rid of that. So we do 3x divided by 3, 15 divided by 3. That gives us 5 equals x. Now we have x by itself on one side of the equation, and we can see that x equals 5, or 5 equals x. So basically, we've solved for x in this equation by combining like terms and simplifying both sides of the equation. So thank you for watching this video.